we're down here and we're in the woods. We're looking. The, the worst thing ever has happened. They have taken Greg, and we have to be really quiet. There's ninjas. There's ninjas everywhere. They're gonna. They're trying to get me. But we're gonna. We're gonna. situation. I don't know who has taken Greg. I'm only... I have the ring. It's getting, it's getting serious. I see the ninjas. We gotta find their master. And then we must research more about him. Welcome back and in today's video. Oh man, oh man. We have a conspiracy that will shake the very foundation upon which you stand. I would like to welcome you to the great ninja conspiracy. Tyler Blevins, born May 6, 1991, age 26, better known as Ninja or Ninja's Hyper, is an American YouTuber and Twitch streamer who makes videos of him playing Fortnite Battle Royale. In the past, Ninja also made videos of him playing Halo. This is a very interesting article. I will put the link in the description below for you to read. But that's not what the hype is all about. Ninja has rose to the top of the entertainment industry's elite. How did he do it? No one grows that quickly. Even though Blevins is one of the best players streaming the biggest games right now, some people suggest his newfound success can also be attributed to the Fortnite deal that's running on Twitch's Prime right now. Twitch and Epic Games partnered up on February 28th to deliver the Fortnite Twitch Prime pack, which gives Twitch Prime subscribers and Fortnite players a pack of exclusive gear and skins. Collecting gear and skins is a major proponent of Fortnite success. According to players, the Twitch exclusive pack has reportedly led to people buying Twitch Prime accounts from third party vendors to collect skins. And a lot of people think that people are doing this to get those skins, but then when they do that, they get a free Twitch subscription. A lot of people have pointed out very peculiar things. One known as Shroud is accused Ninja of subbotting. Let's check this out. I remember reading about it last night. Where the fuck I am? I mean, like, like you said, how we were kind of skimming through Ninja's subs. Just zero followers, zero this, zero this, zero this. Yeah. Fresh yeah, I, meat today. Zero this, zero yeah, this, meat today. Zero this, zero this, zero this, meat today. <laughs> it's just like, it's too... It just doesn't add up. You know? Yeah, yeah, I know. I've heard quite a few streamers saying this. There's definitely a bot subscription part problem at the moment, but it's not quite clear if it's done by streamers or outside sources trying to hurt those streams. It's done by outside sources, says a user named Raging Tuna. Some of them are even selling the accounts on eBay and they make the prime trial sub to Ninja and then sell the account for $4. Then a 12 year old buys the account to get the Fortnite skin. Now, this is something that is an ongoing thing. They want to get the skins. It's easy to make the bot account. And then what are you going to do with that subscription? Somehow Ninja is getting those subscriptions. I want to point to something that's very obvious to me. Ninja's logo. It looks like a blue ninja with a yellow headband. But we do believe that it is more. An Illuminati connection. Now listen. Before you start saying, oh no, another one of these, watch this. When I was consulting the internet gods, aka Google, I came across something that makes a lot of sense. The use of blue in religious ceremonies and as symbol comes along to masonry from the many of different peoples of antiquity. Among the Hebrews, various articles of high priest clothing wear blue. So basically, they wore the colors blue to represent the highest of acknowledgements. Ninja's symbol or logo 
also showcases the yellow bandana. The color yellow also references the ancients used this symbol to emphasize light and to the source of which his Masonic pathway leads the light of truth. You have the color blue representing the acknowledgement of the pathway of the Illuminati and you have the color yellow combined with it showing the pathway. Basically it looks like ninja is being used by the Illuminati to showcase and bring in bigger audiences. Now, I don't know if you remember, one of the biggest conspiracies to do with the Illuminati had to do with the symbolism of Baphomet, the Rothschild's number one logo. Baphomet, the goat-horned god deity, was originally described as the idol the Knights Templar were accused of worshipping and subsequently were incorporated into occult and mythical traditions. Now, Baphomet basically symbolizes how the Illuminati likes to use uh, popular people in culture like Drake, where they would get people that were popular in pop culture and use them to attract children in order to raise them into a newer world order that way the Illuminati would have more control over the minds of the world to make matters even more bizarre the goat horned god deity has been referenced in a known confirmed Illuminati popular icon Drake in the song sneaking he says I don't need love I'm the goat referencing Baphomet. Baphomet being the icon, a direct connection to exactly what I've been telling you. And it just so happens that Ninja and Drake play together in a record earth shattering live stream. I got, f I got 5k donation if you get this dub right now. Yeah? <laughs> 5k don't know if you get this dub, Ninja, you hear me? I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> he said I hear you. Well, we are just getting warmed up. So just to recap, Ninja is shrouded in conspiracy theory. His logo points to all the keys. Those connections are tying into Baphomet, the goat horn god deity, how he is the idol that is being worshipped by the Illuminati elite, especially the Rothschilds, Drake wholeheartedly references in one of his songs who's known confirmed Illuminati and plays on a live stream that is earth shattering and draws in more people than any other live streamer in history. A senior member of a secret society that has ruled much of humanity for the past 5,775 years has gone public. Warriors that protected the elite. The first rank is the martial arts expert, sometimes completely covered in black clothing for night work. Now we know that this could not be a reference for the new age ninja. The second is the level of the ninja where there were military planners and senior bureaucrats. I don't see ninja as being this one, but the third highest level ninjas are people who make history. Now this really does seem like ni ninja, it seems like Drake, it seems like any of the other idols that the Illuminati like to use to draw in younger crowds. In the old days they served the emperor or various warlords. Today's high level ninjas serve the emperor of Japan or else the Rothschilds or Rockefeller families. And it looks to me like the Illuminati are trying to use live streaming as it is becoming a very very huge popular thing and they're using Ninja as the front runner spokesperson image for this new age wave. As always, uh, even as interesting as this is, there's always something that's more interesting to me. That's right, you guessed it. I wanna know what you think. So why don't you go ahead and leave your creative and or interesting responses in the comment box below. Thumbs up for those likes. And as always, brothers and sisters, I will see you in the next video. Woo, I can't, geez, is, all I got to say now the thing is in case you haven't already realized the Illuminati like to use uh, different people from many different arts rap is one of them we can say that Drake is being used to draw in younger uh, minds so that the Illuminati can grow their power they like to grow their power this way they use these symbols like the goat horn god deity 
that they worship, Baphomet, the Rothschilds families, the Rockefeller families have both been seen wearing these symbols. It looks to me that they could be using ninja to draw in the young minds of the world. Yay, we got some shout outs. In the last video, I said if you wanted a shout out, hashtag rep squad in the comments and you're going to get it. So let's see who we got here. We've got Ayazar Irara, Dil Maze Gaming. Not hello. Alicia Hussein, Carmelo Datilo, Cassandra Seagraves, Sinsa, what is that, Sinsa Potato, Sinsa Potato, Kaylee Easy Wins, Trish Sissick, Plushies for Days, EVTRF, Diction WIN, Pixel Heart Gamer, Lasha Blaystone, and I'm sorry if I butchered any of those. It's been a long time, but if if anybody else wants to say a, a shout out, all you gotta do is hashtag Repzilla in the comment section of this video. I'll see it, I'll get it out there. I ain't got no problem doing that because I know that you're repping. If you're not repping, you're Gregging. And how, how do you how do you become a member of the Rep School? All you gotta do is subscribe with your notifications turned on. Be in the comment section every single video because I'm gonna be there. Greg the Cat's gonna be there, and the rest of the entire Rep Squad community is gonna be there. I expect to see you there too, because this channel loves you. Yeah, it's recording. Are we good?